San Jose, the first place in the world to test out some new scooter technology that can actually detect if someone is illegally riding on the sidewalk. Len Ramirez is in San Jose with how this all works. Lenny? Well, San Jose put scooter companies on notice last year that it wanted a technological solution to the problem of people riding scooters on the sidewalk and knocking over pedestrians. It's become a dangerous situation, not only in San Jose, but in cities all over the place. Well, today, Lime was the first to roll out its solution. There are many scooters on the streets of San Jose, and as Pedro Godinez showed us, there's quite a few on the sidewalks, too. I use the sidewalk to help me actually traver traverse the traffic, so... But now, Lime scooters are using technology to get wise to riders who go where they're not supposed to. It can detect up to 95% of the time whether or not a user's on a sidewalk or the road. It's a pilot program that's rolling out first in San Jose. The technology collects data from the scooter's accelerometer, speedometer, and a vibration feedback profile to determine what surface the rider is using. The texture of a sidewalk is very different than the texture of asphalt. I took a ride to see for myself. First, I rode on the street in the bike lane. Then, for testing purposes only, I transitioned to a sidewalk. Notice how most of the vibration and rattling went away. Mayor Sam Licardo challenged scooter companies to use technology to solve the problem of riders hitting pedestrians on the sidewalks instead of just banning them. Let's find a way to integrate it in our city and make sure it's safe uh, rather than simply declaring war on it. Lime says at first, violators will just be given a warning. We will send them a message at the end of their trip saying, hey, you're on the sidewalk, that's against state regulation. But she says repeat offenders could be fined or be kicked off the platform. You might lose some customers like myself. If you're going to implement some kind of technology like that, then I'm probably not going to be using your scooters as much. Yeah, but there's going to be uh, fewer and fewer choices because there are five scooter companies in San Jose and each one of them is going to have to come up with their own solution, their own technology to solve this problem. So one by one, the companies will be adopting some form of it. The problem, though, uh, is always going to be enforcement. If you do get clicked off the platform, you might not have any other choices but to ride in the street and not the sidewalk. Reporting live in San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX5.